Hi everybody, what's going on? Hi Harry, coming at you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA toys, real toys really, Elvira. But before we do, we're going to take a quick look at the package. So here it is, it says Elvira right on the box. Elvira 40 years, nice beautiful picture of Elvira right here. A nice beautiful window as you can see right here where the figure and all of the accessories would be. Nice plastic window. It says unpleasant dreams at the top. And I'm pretty sure you can still see me in the plastic. Hello. Uh, side it says Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Got a picture of Elvira herself. NECA Real Toys, picture of the figure itself right there. On the back, on the back says Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. A little quick, bi little quick bio if you want to pause it right here. Picture of the figure itself. Got the knife and the holster right here. A couple of pictures of what she's supposed to come with and what she does. Includes chalice, dagger, skull candle, and interchangeable heads. On this side, side over here, picture of Elvira, figure with the winky face, Elvira real toys, Elvira mistress of the dark, nothing, nothing at the bottom, top, Elvira mistress of the dark, warning choking hazard, ages 17 and up, I think I know why, another picture of Elvira, and that's it for the box. And here we have Elvira out of package, well technically she already was out of package, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this turn angle. And from what I'm seeing right here, before I get into the real close-up, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, the figure itself is a beautiful, beautiful piece of plastic. I don't know why I said it like that. But the way that I'm, I'm looking at, at the figure, it just re looks really, really nice. The articulation is good. The fabric on her dress is good. Plastic quality, especially in her hair, looks good. My lighting is probably picking it up up real nice. We'll do more close-ups once we talk about the figure more, but I just want to do this quick pan around 360. Now, before we talk about the figure, I want to talk about her accessories real quick, which will which is what we will do right now. And here, this and here are the accessories that she comes with. She comes with one of her interchangeable heads, the skull candle dagger and chalice she also comes with a base which is for some odd reason not advertised on the box for whatever reason take a quick better look at the stand it's just in this normal dull black plastic with a peg sticking out for her to stand on it says NECA made in China nothing else on the bottom not even the little date on most stands do as you see all my fingerprints and all the scratches and dings I've had too much time posing and displaying this thing you can see my light on one side and on the other but this is a very reflective plastic, I mean, and I just made it all dirtier. We're just going to put this to the side right now. Here is the chalice with a nice oozy, gassy green coming off of it. Nothing inside. Oh, maybe where the glue was supposed to be. But I like the detail on the, hang on. But I do like the detail on the chalice. There's like red eyes right there to insinuate a skull and the detail itself. Like no matter where you go, there's nothing but a skull on it. And you can see a little white, I want to say like snake that wraps around it. Hang on. Do it like this. Oh, overall, the detail on this thing is very, very nice. I do like this. Anything on the bottom? Eh. Spider web pattern kind of? Yeah. Here's the skull candle that she also comes with. And I dig the detail and all the paint on this. For example, you've got... Got a snake slithering in from the top of the skull, coming out of the cheek, into the mouth, out of the mouth too. You've got all this rot, hang on. Got all this rot and decay coming off with the red. Detail on that looks incredible. Nice little black spider. Got this green snake coming out from the top of the skull, out of the cheek, in the mouth, and out. Got that gnarly looking tongue and eyeball sticking out. And you can see that got the bone nice paint with the bone on the skull great gray for the hair and how it just feathers out because you know it's just got a plop like that that candle looks nice got the wax oozing and dripping off yellow for the fire made out of a nice rubber bendy plastic almost not really oh i didn't know the snake did that can the spider move no overall just a nice nice piece Got the dagger, just a small little itty bitty dagger with a bit of blood, blood, with a bit of black for these dots and red for I want to say a jewel. Turn this around real quick. Nothing on the other side. A lot of detail. This just goes. This goes on her waist, which we'll get to in a second. And here's the other head that she comes with. Just an overall beautiful, 
beautiful look for Elvira right here. Got some pink foundation on the cheeks, for, or the, the blush really. Got a mole on her right eye. Beautiful eyes, eyeshadow. Just beautiful. And this is just the head. I mean, wait until you see the figure. The hair looks nice. There's just this... I, I wonder how she wore this in the show and in her movie where, you know, just the normal... He I want to say, like, where the seam is, where a normal person's hair is. And then there's just this big, bulbous wig. I wonder how she... I wonder how she did this, just having to contour her, the muscle in her head and just... Because this is a big thing. And the way that the plastic is... Hang on. Just the detail on this hair, like you've got the bulb, bulb for the hair, head and the hair, and the hair just contours and flows down. And it's made out of this nice bendy plastic, but there's some actual weight, there's some actual heft to this head. I mean, I'm not sure if my cam camera picked that up, but there's a, a, a smack sound because there's a lot of weight to this. I'm pretty sure there is a lot of weight plastic wise in this hair right here. I'm gonna take the dagger that we had earlier, put that in our little sash right here. There we go. And there we go. Push that in. And so that way it stays nice and snug. There we go. She's got a little bit of a storage for her, her dagger. She doesn't have anything storage-wise for the skull, but she does have room in her hands for the chalice. Every, I think it's the left one in, that I've got going on. Oh, well, we'll see. And here we have the beauty of Elvira. And oh, nope, hang on, hang on. Oh, and now we have the beauty of Elvira here. She's got one of the winking faces that she comes with. I usually put... I only have her displayed with this head on because from what I've seen, she looks like a nice, very charming individual person. I just figured with the way that she is, she deserves this face more than more than this one with the more surprise face. But I like this face a little bit more. I'm going to talk about the head real quick. The head is kind of the same thing, just, you know, different face. But I really do like the way I really do like the way that the head and the hair came out. I'm pretty sure they're the same piece, but the way that it's sculpted, the way it's painted, the way the plastic came out, it just looks really, really nice. Don't mind me, we're just going to do a quick pan down at the figure itself. Just a beautiful, beautiful figure. Then again, I do like my goth girls, so. Now, a word of advice, I have her on the stand because without this, she does not stand at all. I mean, hang on, let me just show you. Still, still vanilla posed. She does not pose well. And the reason why is because her feet, her feet are very, excuse me, her feet are very, very small. There's the peg hole right there. And then the heel, from my experience, female figures with small feet and heels do not work when they stand by themselves. It just does not, I, I don't get the measurements at all. It could be a plastic thing from, you know, how everything is all, top heavy for various reasons but i mean the the feet just don't do not work with the, by themselves so you've got to keep her on the stand but overall i do like what i see from the accessories to the head to the face sculpt i do like what i see get a quick look at the figure itself the material on her dress is made out of this elastic kind of elastic kind of material i can stretch it just a little bit like you can see on her shoulder that I'll stretch, but I wouldn't stretch it all too much. Her nails are done very, very well. This belt sash looks very nice, made out of this, you know, pleather, but it's got this foam material feel to it. I don't know how to describe it, but just trust me on that. Her legs look real nice. Her legs make her look really, really tall. I mean, the way that NECA scales their figures, I can understand that, but I mean, the legs look really, really nice. The dress contours to her body, just not up to her leg yet. Or hang on, is it the same? No, it's not the other. That's not the same on the other side. But overall, I do like. I really do like what I see. Accessories, material, figure wise, uh, for articulation. Articulation wise, her head is on a is on a ball joint, but it allows for a 360. Goes up and down a little bit. Try. Let me try it on the other head real quick. Correction, her head is on a ball joint, but it's on those weird joints, and especially with the way that her hair is molded, it doesn't allow her to go back and back and forth all the way that very well. Pick the other head on just to show you. And swapping the heads out, the ball joint, or the way that the heads are, it's just really, really tight and not all that good. There we go. Pop that in where it feels just right. Okay, yeah. 
So as you can see, her, head, her other head allows you to go up and down, but not all that much. Side to side pivot, 360. Her arms go up and down, in and out. Rotate at the bicep. Does she have double jointed elbows? Yes, she does. She does have double jointed elbows. Wrist swivel that allows to go 360, hinge up and down. That is a small but tight hinge. I'd be careful with that if I were you. Waist swivel right here under the belt sash, which allows it to rotate, crunch forward, crunch back, pit, diaphragm pivot. The legs, depending if you don't have the stand on, that allows her legs to go that far forward, this far back. Try it again. This far forward, not, not that far back. Again, depending on how you have her on the stand or not. And the way that the dress contours to her body. Uh, there is a thigh swivel inside that you can see right there. And I got a scratch. Damn it. Single jointed knee that allows her to bend this far back, not too much forward. And ankles that allow her to bend that far back, this far forward. Rotate. And she does have... Does she? Hang on. I think I screwed this up. Hang on. Wait. No, she does not have ankle pivot. I just ended up twisting the, the ankle this far or this way. So no, she does not have ankle pivot. I thought she did, but it looks like it was my mistake. So for quick size comparison, she measures up to almost exactly from the top of her head with how big her hair is, about eight and uh, three fourths inches. That's not including the stand. Without the stand, probably the eight and a half. I'm not entirely sure. For an average size comparison, here she is next to Spider-Man. Because who does not want to be Spider-Man for Halloween? And for another average size comparison, here she is next to McFarlane Superman. Because who doesn't want to be Superman for Halloween? Stand. Stand. I just got you standing. Why won't you stand? Stand. Truth, liberty, and the American dream. <sighs> and because it's the spirit of Halloween, I want to have her compared to Marvel's Lady Death, as you can see right here. You know, Mistress of the Death, Mistress of Death. Just, you know... The two made sense. If, if you read the comics and you get what I'm getting at, then you get the, what I'm talking about. Now, final verdict. Should you get this figure? Um, I would say, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't have Elvira growing up, but if you had Elvira growing up, then this is the figure for you. There is that Tiny Toons one that, or the Horror Toons version that, you know, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, but the, but the price range that I got for her... I think this was worth it. I think this was the figure for me. I mean, I didn't have to get her, but there was just something appealing to her that I just had to have her. I don't know what it was, but she's got a, she's got a spot in my collection. I will say that. I do enjoy what I like from the amount of the accessories that she's got, from the sculpt in her outfit, to the articulation, even the box. I kept the box. I mean, if that doesn't say I'm a diehard collector, then I don't know what does. I just... I had to keep the box for sentimental reasons. But if if you like the figure, I would pick it up if I were you. I like this figure. You like this figure. Then go get the figure. That's all I got to say. And right before I end this video, I just want to say have a happy, have a safe, and have a great Halloween. Of course, this video is not being done on Halloween. Or is it? I just wanted to say that before I forgot. And that's the reason why I'm posting this video on a very special day. I figured horror icon horror day the two just mixed mixed and matched i just thought it worked so there you go overall i enjoyed the figure now if you also enjoyed this review make sure to hit the like button hit the bell icon for more videos and hit the subscribe button in case you're not already because it tells me that you guys not only watch my videos you also you also like what you're seeing and i also like what i'm seeing too so anyway that was it for the NECA Toys, Real Toys, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and this is Hi Harry saying, have a great day, enjoy yourselves, take care of one another, and no matter what happens, just try and be happy as much as you can. I gotta go. Take care, guys. Peace.